have been going that route ever since. Uh, also, Laura, how can you keep from being audited every year? <laughs> no, no, no. Common question. <laughs> you have anybody in the audience, Laura? I sure do. A friend of mine, Ken Ellison. Is Ken, here. where are you? Hold up I'm your hand. To nice to too. see you. Oh, All right, yeah, he's there. <laughs> Take it okay, let's get started, shall we? And look at this board right here. The subjects for the game are scary things, mixed words, animal songs, chemistry, fashions, football, action films. The top ten categories want whichever of you give us a higher ranking answer on the list will win that box. And we have sleuths. Nine subjects. Mitch, as our champ, first pick is yours. I'm going to try action films, Wink. Action films. This man is looking for action. In this 1967 movie, which starred Lee Marvin and Jim Brown, 12 convicts were released from prison and specially trained as commandos for a secret World War II mission. According to the film's title, what was the nickname given to that group of commandos? The Dirty Dozen. You got it. Action Films gets an X in that bottom left-hand corner. All right, we're off and running. Laura, it is your turn to add to that $200. Oh, let's try animal songs. All right, so be it. I'll name several hit songs with animals in the title, and you name the popular singer who recorded them. One. This British superstar had hits with the songs Honky Cat and Crocodile Rock. Two, this American superstar had hits with the songs Teddy Bear and Hound Dog. I'll give you a few seconds to think on that. Laura, I'm not even going to repeat them. You're smiling. Give me the name of the first English singer. Elton John. And the second one? Elvis Presley. You got it. <laughs> That's how popular they are, or were, in their songs. Animal songs. Put an O there. Let's shuffle. $500 in the pot. Back to you, Mitch. Uh, Wink, I'm going to try action films. Another one on action films. Mitch, this 1974 film version of a famous novel by Agatha Christie starred Albert Finney as the famous Belgian sleuth Hercule Poirot. The film concerned a murder which took place on a famous European luxury train. Name that train. The Orient Express. Yes, the picture was murder on the Orient Express. So we put an X there, we shuffle again. Laura, it is your turn to add the $700. What do you well, like? I'm going to have to take sleuths for the block. Yeah, you need this for a vertical block. And here's your question. Though this writer is best known for creating the fictional sleuth Perry Mason, he also wrote a series of books about a female detective named Bertha Cool. Those books were written under the pseudonym A.A. A. Fair. For a vertical block, give me that author's real name. Oh, Rex Stout. <laughs> no, Earl Stanley Gardner. Gardner. Earl Stanley Gardner. <laughs> so, we still have two X's, one O in the center box on the board, $700 pot. And Mitch, it is your turn again. I'll try fashions for the win, Wink. If you answer correctly on fashions, you will have won your second game of tic-tac-toe and $900. When we take that $900 and add to your $28, you'll have a total of, in cash, $3,700. Here's the question, Mitch. This leading American costume designer named Edith won Academy Awards for the costumes in such films as The Heiress and The Sting. For Tic-Tac-Doe and a total of $3,700, give me her name. Edith Head. You win. <laughs> Famous Academy Award winning designer, Edith Head. So, Mitch, a quick tic-tac-toe win for you vertically on the board this time. $900 added to your prior total. $3,700 in cash. That's how much you're richer now. Now you got to do another, uh, it's not a legal battle, but it's a battle anyway. And you lost that battle last time versus the dragon. We'll see how uh, you do this next time in just a moment. Well, Laura. It was quick, but it was fun. I hope you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> And I hope I don't meet you in court anytime. <laughs> Laura, thanks for being with us. We have a couple of nice parting gifts. Mitch, congratulations. Thank you. I think that's terrific. And your wife does too, as a matter of fact. She's sitting out there. She's 37, 35. <laughs> yeah, she likes that. Hey, this is a this is hat day, and this is a, a hat that came in from my native home state of Tennessee. And this is neat. This is a dragon hat. Did somebody do a great job on this? And that somebody is Mrs. Jeanette Beeler of Knoxville, Tennessee. And uh, she put a little dragon on there. And uh, Max, I may let you borrow this uh, for your, you know, your, your very important part. He has a little tongue sticking out, little scales on top, and big uh, red eyes. Our dragon's eyes are uh, purple most of the time, though. Uh, he sees green when he gives away too much money. But this is the way it looks when it's on Winky's hat.
Jack Perry would never do what I just did. But he'd never wear this hat either. Hey, thanks for being with us. Thank you, Jeanette, for the hat look. Bye-bye. Tic-Tac-Toe is a Jack Barry and Van Enright production. <laughs>